morning, Mr. Mansri. Good morning. And thank you for this opportunity to uh, uh, talk to you on Collier's TV. Um, for successful people like you, we, you're, you're always an inspiration for people like us who are entering the industry for, in, in compared to the amount of experience you have in the industry. It's very good for us to go back and uh, try and understand what motivated you to get into this industry and how the industry was at that time. Could you throw some light on that? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know whether you know the movie called Trishul. Yes. It was it's a word, yes. and Sanjay Kumar. Yes. I saw that movie in oh, okay. my childhood okay. and I decided to become a developer. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah. It's and, a movie. Uh, yeah. Wow. And then when 10th standard, I got uh, very good marks. I was a MPC 96%. Wow. And, you know, and uh, easily. Wow. I gone for engineering uh, science admission. Yeah. But uh, my father uh, got hospitalized. Okay. And we were having textile uh, business. I, I see. started sitting in the business. Okay. And I really enjoyed and then I dropped that <laughs> idea to become engineer. I see. Okay. But uh, again after 10 years when I got opportunity. Yeah. We entered in the real estate uh, field because we were investing it. Yeah. And then gone in a full full play. Nice. So, um, so you've broken the myth that, you know, it is not the very studious and the and, and the well-educated ones who go into real estate. You know, most of you are very well-educated and, uh, and uh, you could have been an engineer doing something else. Um, that's amazing. How was the industry at that time? Where, where did you see the opportunities there? No, that time industry was at a very, very infant stage actually. Yes. Because, yes. you know, majority people were buying the plots, constructing yeah. their own house. Yes. And uh, staying in an apartment was little below status sigma for uh, many people. Hmm. Because hmm. apartment means you are uh, some ordinary man, not I a see. Okay. rich man actually. Okay. Because, and you know, our uh, Indian uh, people are very status savvy actually. <laughs> okay. And it was very beginning. Yeah. And uh, buying an apartment was a big difficult task. Hmm. Second thing is uh, getting home loan was a big tough job because only two years salaries loans were available. Yeah. So you know, the anybody buying a home yeah. has to have a minimum age more than 45 to 50. Wow. That okay. kind of scenario. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it come down quite a bit. Yeah. 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 So, in, in terms of um, challenges in the industry at that time versus challenges in the industry of this time, let me ask the question in a different way. Today, if you were deciding to enter any business, would you enter real estate? Um, is, is it, is the, has the challenges decreased or has it increased? No, I would say challenges have increased, yes, sir. not decreased. Mm. Because see what happened, like that time real estate was at a uh, very beginning stage mm. and uh, very few regulations. Mm. Plan sanction and other thing was two three months time mm. and things were much faster. I see. Only selling was a big difficult job and arranging the finance was more bigger than selling requirement. <laughs> okay. If okay. you arrange the loan, then customer is sure for you. Okay. Something like that. Mm. But today, if you see the over a period of time, government has created so many bottlenecks, mm. hurdles mm. in this industry, mm. and uh, that has really many times you get a frustrating experience because that is what is not good. Because yeah. we are an infra player, hmm. we are investing in the society, hmm. but we are never treated by the government as a investors. Hmm. We are hmm. always treated in a yellow color glasses, hmm. like we are a cash cow and hmm. they can expect something more. So this is what I think creates more and more regulations hmm. and more and more obstacles in doing the smooth business. Rather, it is becoming more complicated. It's business. becoming complicated. Yeah. You touched on a point, uh, the perception about the industry. You know, what is the industry? It's a cash cow for, for some people. Um, in the last decade or more, it's actually got a negative perception. The industry has got a perception that we're dealing with people who don't deliver on time, don't keep their word. It's got this perception. So in your view, is that justified? And how do we get over this? See what happened you know, like uh, last 10 years if you see, uh, not 10, I would say last 15 years, the overall hurdles, number of hurdles created by the government by bringing new new regulations for this industry are mm. quite a lot. Mm. And every time the new rule come out which is totally different, mm. there is no respect to the old plans which are at mm. and mm. everything comes retrospective mm. and that creates a lot of problem and okay. these ultimately end up in the uh, and uh, delivery get delayed. Yes, yes. You're creating, you're creating yeah. um, livelihood homes, offices. I'd say this is the best business because we create a skyline. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll die, but uh, that skyline is there, yes. and that name will continue. 
Yeah. I don't think this opportunity you get in any other business. Absolutely. And here every day, every minute you learn something new. Yeah. You have a lot of scope and opportunity for creativity. And if some creativity is functionally good, I think customers also well receive it and appreciate it. So I personally feel this is one of the best business. Wow. Uh, that's motivation to a lot of people looking Absolutely. at real estate. Yeah. Um, you touched on customer. We'd like to come to the customer and, and understand from your perspective, Today, across your businesses, what do you think are the two to three important things in the customer's mind when they're dealing with a developer? What are the criteria they look for when making a real estate decision, which is a big decision in their life? And how does Mantri as a company um, fulfill that requirement? See, I think buying a property is a very large decision for any customer. That's right. Because it's maybe a lifetime saving. Mm. For some people, they are taking a loan of 30 years. That means, you know, half the life they are mortgaging for that house repayment. Mm. It's a very large decision. Mm. And today, what happened when you take a very, very big decision? The most important factor comes in your mind is safety. Mm. Because when you are paying money, whether mm. that is money is going for a safe. Mm. Suppose by mistake somebody pay to the wrong developer. Yeah. I think lifetime he cannot buy again one more apartment. Yeah. Because that kind of earnings nobody has. Mm. So it's a very important decision. You're obviously studying your customers in great detail to find out what what is it that it really requires. Absolutely. So, now yeah. if you see rental division. These customer tenants we convert into our customers. That's a, so. so you, your your rental division is actually get generating leads yeah. for your sales. Absolutely, yeah. because once they're satisfied with our services, yeah. they feel like buying from us. Nice. Now, when somebody buy a new home, he want to do a fit out, yeah. like kitchen, cabinet, wardrobes, like yeah. fixed furniture. Yeah. That we do. We have a specific. They provide this service. And we do that so that we can give. So if you really see, we provide a 360 degree. Hmm. If you don't have a home, hmm. you don't want to buy, we will get you on rent. Hmm. If you want to buy, you need loan, we will arrange for that. Hmm. After the home is delivered, you want maintenance, we will do that. Hmm. If you want furniture to be done, we will do that also for you. Nice. And uh, with, we are now started providing concierge services also. And in our prop care, we have a telemedicine hmm. where we are tied up with Apollo Hospital. Okay. Where if anybody gets any problem, he yeah. can go to the clubhouse. There is a infirmary. One nurse is there. The stethoscope and everything get connected through the computer, and it get connected to Apollo Hospital. Wow. And through video conference, you know the they yes. can prescribe the medicine, and uh, one printout will come. We have a drugstore inside the clubhouse, nice. and they will deliver the medicine to their home. You know, we go up to that extent. Thereafter, after doing a lot of residential, we done shopping mall. Yes. Because we thought re retail can add value to our apartments. In fact, you're known for the biggest. So, yeah. so the, the, a lot of work has yeah, done. But the philosophy behind was, to this customer, shopping mall will add value. Yes. And that's how we have done it. It's not other way. <laughs> then we thought that nowadays, you know, the traffic is a big issue. Nobody yeah. likes to drive the car. Yeah. We are now doing township project where office, retail, resi, all and together. All together. Yeah. So basically, we keep the customer at center mm. and we try to give 360 degree solutions to the customer. Mm. So that, you know, once they come inside, I think we take care of all their requirements. All end-to-end -end services, even the the philosophy which is unique is it doesn't end with the transaction or the possession yeah. you're yeah. you're you're taking care of a customer requirement even after that and Absolutely. and i think that's quite unique so that's amazing um the the market is going through it's a, a bit of a slowdown right now um how do you see this market what what is your view is this um, going to change very soon and what will trigger a change See, let me tell you, this is a business which is cyclical. Yes. And over a period of time, because I have seen three recessions already and this is fourth uh, slowdown I am facing. So oh, this is the fourth. Yeah, okay. Fourth. So nothing is new. I think everything is exactly the same. It repeats again and again. The so same you just thing. bring out the old way of handling Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> In fact, I have written a book and I have written, I love recession. Because, uh, you know, it's the best time for business. I see. Okay. Because see, in our uh, business, uh, the land purchase is the most expensive item. Yeah. And in slowdown, we get the cheapest land. Yeah. And we feel we make money only in slowdown, not in good time. <laughs> because good time, we create a value that goes to our customers. And prices goes up. Yes. No, but that benefit goes to customers, customers, not to us. <laughs> so we are a wealth creator. 
and uh, this slow down uh, yes we are i feel we are almost at 6 uh, o'clock in a clock of uh, slow down i see because i don't feel uh, there is a possibility of going uh, to 5 o'clock now because ah. the way the government is taking initiative and uh, the emerging market the way the india is performing yes. i think the bad is past now yeah. it's a matter of time it may take 6 month or it may take 1 year yeah. but the situation is uh, definitely positive and we have to just kick start to 7 or 8 o'clock we're just in that turn absolutely yes. great um a, a question on mantri's vision as a company where do you see this organization going 5 to 10 years down the line what is your vision uh, where would you like to see it see we are very clear that we are going to be the metro player okay we have today bangalore hyderabad chennai and pune okay. maybe we'll expand in mumbai or delhi at appropriate time okay but we are very sure and clear that we will not go to the non metro okay. we are a metro player and we are now going more and more for township type projects yes. 30 40 50 acre because i am firm believer that we don't have any control on the road infrastructure and other things yeah. and uh, if you see the inside the project we do very good job yeah. but when you come on the road and it you know the situation is not very encouraging yeah. and that is the reason we want to make a large size project hmm. maybe 30 to 100 acres hmm. so that we can give all the facilities inside hmm. and there is a situation maybe customer maybe more than week or two week he don't need to come outside on the road wow okay and we create that entire good environment yeah. controlled environment yeah and that's only possible in metro cities because no yeah. point in going in smaller cities and trying to create this yeah. this is what we feel and we always want to remain a real user focused player your your vision also uh, beautifully ties in with what you believe is your core philosophy which is being customer centric you've actually seen infrastructure as a pain point to the customer and now thinking of becoming a player primarily in the township uh, area Absolutely. so that the customers problems are alleviated which is uh, which can be seen in your vision very great um a personal question um y- you attain great successes when you started did you actually think that you would attain this much success no absolutely no the uh, but philosophy was very clear and uh, i have defined the philosophy in a very simple five letter word p q r s t Okay. punctuality quality reliability speed and transparency and nice. that philosophy if you see in our organization from top to bottom we are able to percolate to the each and every person and we all work towards that so discipline is the key as you absolutely. said absolutely and this is a very glamorous very tempting business yes lot of money comes yeah. but that money is coming for future construction yes you are not allowed yeah. to buy mercedes car from that money <laughs> that's <laughs> very good advice yeah <laughs> Well, on on that note sir uh, i'd again like to thank you for this opportunity uh, this has been very inspirational and i'm sure a lot of the youth will learn from what they hear from you and i hope we'll get many more opportunities to congratulate you for all the successes you've had and thank many you. more conversations in the future absolutely any type thank and you. i think uh, youth is our future and when i meet any credai meeting i think 60% more than 60% are youth developers are youth developers which is good and they are going to change the entire industry dynamics now yes and but like you said your legacy will always be there on the skyline <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you very much right. sir thank you thank you